Okay, so I'm going to prove a theorem by contradiction. And what I'm going to prove is that there is an infinite number of odd numbers. We use hash to mean a number of. So we want to prove there's an infinite number of odd numbers. Uh, and we can do this by contradiction. Uh, and how to do that is to form what's called um, the negation of that. So what we're going to assume, the premise is going to be the opposite of there's an infinite number of odd numbers. And of course, the negation of there's an infinite number of something is that there is a finite number of something. Okay. Now, if there's a finite number of odd numbers, there must be a biggest. Why is that? Well, because if there's a finite number of odd numbers, we can sort them into order from smallest to biggest, and the last number will be the biggest. And because there's a finite number of them, it should be possible to find that one. Okay. So suppose that is equal to n, and I'm going to write that as 2p plus 1, where p is an integer. And it's always possible, because any even number can be written as twice an integer, so any odd number can be written as twice an integer plus 1. So for example, if I want the number 1, p would be 0. If p were 1, I would get the number 3. If p were 2, I'd get the number 5, and this way I can write down any odd number. So what's the consequence of this? What we want to do with the proof by contradiction is we want to obtain a contradiction, something that can't be true. Okay. So let's take this biggest odd number um, and let's look at another number constructed from it. Now because it's still a number we can add to it, so what we're going to do is we're going to consider n plus 2, that is adding 2 to this biggest odd number. And so we're going to get 2p plus 1 plus 2, which if I factorize out a 2, I get p plus 1 plus 1. Uh, that's putting that 2 inside the brackets. Now this is an odd number. Why? Well, because we have an integer p plus 1, which is still an integer, multiplied by 2, means we're going to get something which is a multiple of 2 that is even. And so this thing must be odd, because it is one more than an even number. Right, so what do we have? Well, what we have is now that n plus 2 is odd and n plus 2 is bigger than n because it's two, two more added onto n. And that clearly contradicts that n is the biggest number. Contradicts that n is the biggest odd number. So if we look through our argument, apart from the fact that there is, an, there is a finite number of odd numbers, there's nothing wrong with our logic. So if there's nothing wrong with our logic and we have a contradiction, we have to, by uh, proof by contradiction, realize that our premise was wrong. If that was wrong, then it must be the negation of that must be true. And so, therefore, there are an infinite number of odd numbers. That's it.